and of course the crowd is thinning here right now. And of course tonight would have been historical on either side. Of course Mike Espy hoping that it would have been historic that he would have been the first African American to be elected to the Senate from Mississippi since Reconstruction, but that was not the case. He called Senator Cindy Hyde Smith to not only concede the race and offer her congratulations, but he also said to offer her prayers as she goes back to represent a Mississippi that he described as divided. Here's more of what he told the crowd just moments ago. So I wanted to come out here tonight and talk about what is still a historic achievement. Let me first say that uh, a minute ago I did call Senator Cindy Hyde Smith, and I, I no no no, and I congratulated her on her victory tonight, and she has my prayers as she goes to Washington to to unite a very divided Mississippi, and she has my prayers and my willingness. To and he went on to say that, quote, make no mistake, tonight is a beginning, not the end. When this many people show up, stand up and speak up, it is not a loss, it's a moment. And that is what Mike Espy told this crowd here just a moment ago. Now again, this crowd is beginning to thin out. And as you notice that when the crowd was about to boo, when he mentioned Sandy Highsmith saying, he put a stop to that. He says, no, that's not what this night is about. It was going to be historical regardless. And he did, again, offer her prayers and congratulations again as she goes back to Washington to represent Mississippi. Reporting live here from the Civil Rights Museum, Aaron Pickens, 16 WAPT News.